in the word it tells us that the battle isn't against flesh and blood it also tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves well it's hard to love our neighbors as ourselves when we don't see the individual that we are in conflict with or that we have an issue with when we see them as a problem when the when the beef the the fight is against them physically now first of all a lot of us we don't know that that's what the bible says all right but it does say that and that's one of my struggles is remembering that the battle isn't against flesh and blood but against the spirits and principalities in the dark unseen world so what happens spiritually that's where everything begins it's the spiritual warfare that we're in so when we fight against each other that's what the enemy want us to do because God says for us to love our neighbors as ourselves and we can't love one another and treat one another from a place of love and with love as well as respect when we looking at each other as the enemy we looking at our physical Yes, everything is taking place in the physical, but the root of it is, is spiritually. So the enemy want us to be in conflict and it's hard not to, and I get it. Like somebody say something out of line, like we got a problem. Like, yeah, I, I feel that. And naturally, that's how we view it. So naturally, that's how we respond. But when we remember that that person that we are in conflict with we looking at them but we have to understand that it's a spiritual battle and when we fight or speak fight it spiritually then we can we can act from a place of love we can come from a place of love we can still give love and love that person because we know that okay this is not that that they're the devil but understand that it's bigger than what we see physically. It's a spiritual spiritual thing. So because it's a spiritual thing, I can't come at my brother and my sister raging war. I can't be at war with my wife because it's a spiritual thing. And that be hard because my wife, boy, she, <laughs> hey, she's, she's a force to reckon with. But when I remember that the battle isn't against flesh and blood, and when the Bible tells me to love my wife like Christ loved the church, it's much easier to do so because now I can, although I'm, we're in the physical, I can pull from the spiritual. Meaning, what are the, what are the, fruits of the spirit is patience is love and 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 kindness and so on and so forth i can i can pull from the spiritual i can i can pull from the holy spirit his his fruits and give my wife that grace and give my wife that mercy i can be patient with my wife but it's hard to do it when i'm looking at her how she coming at me and that's how I respond and that's how I react. So what am I saying? Although we, we are living here in the physical, we have to understand that everything begins in the spiritual. So when we are in conflict with one another, when we're fighting amongst each other, that's what the enemy want us to do. God tell us to love each other to treat each other with love and it's easy to do it 
when we remember that the battle isn't against one another. It's a spiritual warfare that's going on and the enemy, he's, it says the spirit of Antichrist is already here. It's already moving around in this, in, in this, in this world here on earth. So he want us to fight. He just sit back and laugh at us because we don't know that it's him that's behind the drama. It's him behind the confusion. It's him behind the conflict. It's him behind the, fa the, the fight and the battle, the war. And as long as he can get us to fight against each other, we'll never come together in love, which what God want us to do because he is love so he want us to act and treat each other with love and carry out that love for one another and be there for one another but we can't be there for one another if I'm hating my brother for what he said if I'm hating my sister for what she did if I'm steady at war with, with my wife and, and battling with my children because of whatever right makes sense so just be encouraged in in this season and right now is the time to really really be in the word and also really following christ because again it's a spiritual warfare going on and we can't fight anything spiritually from a physical standpoint we have to draw down heaven here on earth on, on our earthly situation and that's how we fight it spiritually. Prayer. The power of the Holy Spirit. Being obedient and walking in faith and walking with Christ. That's how we're going to beat it. Until we do that, we're going to always fight it amongst each other. So when God say, love your neighbor as you do yourself, that will always be impossible to do. And it always seemed like it's impossible. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.